Okay. The premiere of Breaking Olympia is over. Wow, what an incredible film. This is the first time again that I watched it with a public audience. Everybody was just locked in and the feedback was just honest and open and positive. And this film is gonna to touch a lot of people's lives, so I'm really happy that I was able to be a big part of this. And uh, you know, I, I wish I could say more because there is so much more to give, but you can only compile that into so much time. So congratulations, Phil, the team. Uh, I hope everyone out there uh, agrees. Uh, it's, it's gonna be a huge, huge hit uh, on any aspect, whether it's you know bodybuilding, fitness, or outside, anyone that's wanting to achieve greatness, this is greatness, so congratulations. You know, as a competitive bodybuilder, I can tell you that the passion we have for this sport is so incredible, and unfortunately, it's so grossly misunderstood by you know so many people on the outside, and Phil and the producer and their team just did an absolutely incredible job of telling the real story of what it's like to grind through this industry and do your absolute best to make it to the top. So this was done absolutely fantastic and pays just so much homage to what we do as bodybuilders and a testament to Phil's hard work and I just can't say enough. So we just wrapped up here. Um, my voice is leaving and I got interviews for the next two days. And one of those interviews is with Piers Morgan. So I definitely got to rest up and we're going to be Leaving Birmingham, I said that right. Birmingham, not Birmingham. <laughs> we'll be leaving at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning, and then we have a full-on schedule with tons of podcasts, tons of fun, and uh, we're going to London, baby. We'll see you soon. Gotta make sure we got what we need. We're tired. We had like two hours of sleep. So yeah, literally. We're good. We're gonna be okay. Yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. I don't know when doing the podcast on her, but whatever. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just wanted you to keep that. To ask for oh, yeah. We're a little bit more hard hitting yeah. and stuff like that, but oh, one of the Yeah, could you please write a question <laughs> that will go in our machine for a future guest? <laughs> <laughs> It's an absolute yeah. honour to have seven-time Mr. Olympia, Phil Heathen. How are uh, you, mate? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Uh, that's elephant in the room. You're fucking massive, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I can't stop looking at you. <laughs> How's oh life? How's things? It's fantastic. Uh, we've been here for about a week now. And, man, you know, I will say, everyone here is so freaking nice. See? What's happening to his face? Red. Turn it red. red. <laughs> See, if that's because I'm ginger and pale. No, but it happens to every person. Yeah. Really equate to as far as musculature on stage. Mm. Right. You know, because you still have to peel away at the water and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah. So, and it also depends on where we're storing the fat. Phil, we always finish on the same question. What's the meaning of life? To live it. There we go. See you in a few days. Thanks, mate. That was great. Right. Thank right you so much. Yeah, thanks, man. Thank Cheers. you so much. Okay, so we just finished our first podcast of the day. Now we're heading over to the second one. It's called the High Performance Podcast. <sighs> I have the list right here. It's with uh, Jake Humphrey and Professor Damian Hughes. And um, so they're going to talk about my life and career. So here we go. Understand what people are saying. Um, I got some cappuccinos. I got a lot of Bless you. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, I'm Hannah. Hannah, get to meet you. Hi, Hannah, get to meet you. Let's just stand here in the middle. Cool. Seriously, that's a good 
happiness in that to then having that not take place and then becoming extremely depressed and not realizing that there is life after this. And then fortunately, I just recognize that and run with it like that. I think that was truly Come on, man. What a conversation. We've done over 300 of these. That's probably the best one ever. Okay, as you can see, kind of like in this undisclosed location. <laughs> no, we actually just got done with our last podcast. Now we're getting ready to do Lad Bible. <sighs> this has been a tremendous day. A lot of um, cleansing, in my opinion, because when I'm doing these podcasts and I'm being asked such incredible questions, I get to just go within and then produce some good responses, in my, in my opinion. But at the same time, I'm always trying to lead with the intention of providing you guys value. And uh, our last conversation, man, we, like, we went deep. We didn't even talk about macros. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, everyone's very excited to meet upstairs. Oh, we're uh, yeah, all prepared. Andy's up there. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah good. Yeah. Have, you, uh, have you seen any of the Honesty Box stuff before? Or? I have not. Honey so. perfume body spray. Never seen this in a toilet before. I actually haven't. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. They oh. got mega hole gel. That's definitely something that I would never need. Matte clay, extra hole. Would never need that. What is this? Clay. Light yeah. glossy hold. They must have lots of so, hair. So basically, they have products only for white people because like, there's no way like a black person would ever use light hold. <laughs> Jesus, I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> That's some nice weather as well. Okay, welcome. This is uh, the crew. Hey, you're right, Andy. Nice to meet you. I'm Jim. Nice to meet you. Are you going to do it? Deodorant. They got deodorant. <laughs> shh, shh. Then he comes up and he's like, oh, fuck. I think it's hairspray. I hear hairspray. I'm sure it does a job. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it's actually. Is it really yeah, stinging? Yeah, it's burning. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it actually oh, is. No. It's not good. Cool. Hi, I'm Phil Heath, seven time Miss Olympia, and right here is the honesty box where I'm going to open this up and answer all these questions. Okay. Why did you start bodybuilding? Well, Bodybuilding was definitely not something on my list of things to do growing up. Um, but why I started was because I needed a new challenge in life after playing Division One basketball at the University of Denver. And a few of my friends were doing it. So next thing you know, I went to a couple competitions and a pro bodybuilder that was appearing at the show said, you should try this. So I said, what the hell? Um, what's the worst thing that can happen? Lose some fat and gain some muscle. I'm all for it. I right, just finished over at Lad Bible and we are done. What on earth is going on well, here? Well, we're going to Pierce Morgan and I don't want him to judge me because I'm not, you know, I don't look as. I just need to put on a coat or something, something more presentable. Yeah, you. Of course, Skinner. And I'm going to be like, well, you're about to. We don't have time to stop. Yeah. And change in a bathroom, yeah. so I'm freezing. Oh, we'll, 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 we'll put them in the oh, Yeah. Okay. So, oh, I just got done doing the honesty box over at Mad Bible, and I just changed because we're getting ready to drive over to meet with this gentleman by the name of Piers Morgan. And it's uncensored, so I'm pretty sure he's going to ask me some interesting questions. Probably about a jab. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. What do you guys think? Is it gonna be about a jab? Is it gonna be about life? Politics? The economy? Family? Family? Climate change? It's probably gonna be about the fucking jab. <laughs> We've found something that's bigger than you. A big fat pussy. Doors, I don't know, it won't be up here on midnight, but they do lock them, but there's always someone on the desk to let you back in. Perfect. And uh, you've been to the UK before? You oh, know, yeah. Fashion lights on the outside. Yep. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we could give you the TV, but the Chromecast won
Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. All right. So that was a wrap on Piers Morgan. Had a great time. He's quite the gentleman. And yes, we had an arm wrestling competition. I had to let him win. I mean, I'm on his home court. I'm on his home field. And I wanted to make sure that he was having that added confidence so that uh, when we see each other again, we're going to be in the gym. I'm going to kick some ass. But uh, we covered a lot of different topics, and it was really enjoyable uh, to sit there and, and really visit with him. Because I know a lot of people have their views on him as an individual, uh, but uh, needless to say, he's a great uh, podcaster. He was quite the gentleman, and uh, now we're here over at the Soho Hotel. I definitely need to get something to eat. And then we have one more podcast. One more interview. It's virtual, and it's going to be in this awesome room. And I must say... I'm gonna <laughs> enjoy <laughs> lions and tigers and bears. Uh, uh, no bear. Oh my. Uh, oh, we got a camel and an elephant. That's because you were speaking about camels before. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And look how the giraffe is looking at me. He's like, he's all like, the giraffe is like this. Look at. Him. We're pretty tired, but this is actually pretty fucking funny. <laughs> I mean, this it's is how very we random, them. but. And this is a very. Uh, I don't know. He's just... Uh, They're he's cuddly. kind of malnourished, it looks yeah. like. He, 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 so if you can't sleep, that's where you're going to be going. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Imagine that on shrooms. <laughs> Staring at that thing. But, uh, yeah, I need to shut up. I need to go get freshened up and go downstairs and get some food. Yes. Oh, man. You